Hi and welcome back to this uh, quick video from Train Sim World CSX Heavy Hall. Today we're going to carry on with the tutorials and look at yard switching. It'll be a five minute tutorial so let's just jump right into it. So you want to learn about yard switching? Let's take a look. Before a train goes anywhere, crews arrange all the cars together. Meticulous planning goes into making sure the right cars go to the right tracks to make up the right trains. This process is called switching. Climb aboard this locomotive and we'll get started. Let me just point out how beautiful this game looks. Absolutely beautiful. Right, I am running at a 60 FPS and 1080 I'm recording at this time. Still getting 40, 50 frames a second, so that's alright. Carry on with the game. Right. Set the locomotive up and pull towards the cars ahead. Okay. Take it easy though. Five miles an hour will do just fine. Forward. Release brake. One. Gently bump into the cars up ahead. The couplers will engage automatically. Okay. Moving guys, we're moving. Right, we're slowly slowing down. Give it a throttle one. Here we go, here we go. It's initial reduction on the brakes. Too much braking. Release. Throttle one again. Once coupled, apply the automatic brake to full service. Yep, too much. That's it. You got this. Yeah. Now, haul them back beyond the switch in the track. Okay, full service. Go reverse, huh? Reverse. Release brake. Um, throttle one. Here we go. We're going, lads. <coughs> Idle. We don't want to go too fast. There we go. Slowly does it. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. I love the steam coming out. Good graph. Unreal Engine 4 looks great for this game. So much better than the old friends. There we go. Oh, oh we've got to go all the way up there now. So if we go up a notch. Slow back down. Slowly does it. Here we go. Oh, beautiful. Okay, the train is clear. Bring it to a stop. Okay, I don't reverse that. Uh, initial reduction on the brakes. Mm. 
Bleep. To put these cars with the others on the adjacent track, a switch in the track must be changed. Climb down from the locomotive and walk to the switch. Okay. Like a real big yard, this. Miles away. Here we are. Move the lever so the rails align to the other direction. Okay. Ah, oh, look at. That. Excellent. We're all set. Climb back aboard and push the cars down the track, connecting them with the others already there. Going back. Uh, doing a great job here, boys. Back in. Set the reverse to forward, brakes to release, and throttle to one notch. Forward, release. One notch. Here we go. Take the throttle off quickly. Go too fast. Here we go. So we gotta slow down a bit. There we go. Brought a look again. 3.9. That, that's a good enough speed. So I'm using A and D to control the speed at the moment while I'm looking at this camera. Uh, if you look at the D, if I press A, it will go up a notch. Don't hold A though, if you do that. <coughs> Sorry about that, bit of a cough. Here we go. We're nearly there. Right, we're slowing right down. Hopefully, we can connect with this. Right. Bleat it. Nice and slow into it. You're doing great. Keep it up. Now to uncouple the locomotive from the cars, climb down and walk to the first freight car. Okay. Walk it over to the first. First off, apply the brake wheel on the freight car so they are secured in place. Okay. Pull the cut lever to disconnect the locomotive from the cars. Cut the lever. Turn to cut lever. Yeah. Can I do this? Ah. Ah, there we go. And that's all there is to it. This process is repeated until all the cars required are assembled on the same track. Huh. To finish, 
Climb back aboard the locomotive and move it up the track so it is ready to assemble more cars. There we go. Oh, done. That was pretty simple, that one. Nicely done. Got a few extra points and stuff. Thank you for joining me with this tutorial. Well, please leave a like, subscribe and a comment on what else you'd like to see. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.